We know that deploying new devices can be a lot of work. Yes. And <laughs> thankfully, we've been working on an amazing feature called Autopilot, and we have great news for you. It's specifically piloted on Surface, and it is a feature that came first on Surface, and it works really well. It's a great way to get the ball rolling and build that momentum in your deployment. Yes, we're talking about kind of a seismic shift. There's the traditional way, since pretty much the dawn of enterprise computers, that we have imaged machines. Uh, that is wipe and reload. Here is the USB stick of doom, and I put that into the device, and then it completely erases everything. All of the drivers, all the updates, anything this device might have had going for it is gone. Now we put on this image, it was maybe created on some Lenovo four years ago. And the second that that image is applied, Windows Update says, oh goodness, you're actually a Surface. Here's every single driver. Here's every single thing that you're going to need. Uh, so with Autopilot, we want to change that, not have to completely erase everything. What if we modified the out-of-box experience of every Windows device in the world to include a check to say, hey, do I belong to a company? And have they set up Autopilot? So that is what we're thinking about for the new way, and we're gonna walk you through exactly what that looks like, but here in sort of like this day in the life, let's say I'm an employee, I just started with a company, I'm receiving the device straight from the reseller that it was purchased from, shrink-wrapped in its box to me at home. I turn it on, open it up, it automatically knows that it belongs to my organization, I simply type in my credentials that I've been provided, and then the device self-provisions. Uh, that is kind of this more modern way and modern approach to deployment. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Here's exactly how it works. We, Microsoft, make the Surface. Hooray. Uh, we provide those device IDs to your reseller or the partner in which you bought the devices from. They make these uh, very kind of long device IDs, kind of a, a hash code. Those get uploaded to our autopilot deployment service. So now what happens is, as a part of every out-of-box experience, it performs that check and sees if I belong to a company. Here's where you come in. Uh, you're responsible for configuring, hey, what exactly happens? What is our image going to look like? What tools, what programs do we want to install? Uh, so you can configure autopilot uh, effectively, and currently that's using the Microsoft Store for Business. After that, uh, the device, of course, can just ship directly to that employee. Uh, that person then receives the device, opens it, and then they self-deploy, which I understand sounds just a little scary, uh, but I want to show you exactly what that looks like. So Josh, what do you say we set up a device together? Sounds great. <laughs> Perfect. So first things first, the spinning circle, and then we're going to have English. Let's just choose United States for now. The keyboard layout, that's fine. And do we want another one? We don't. Okay, now we're gonna connect to Wi-Fi. Guest Wi-Fi, your local Starbucks, or even your home Wi-Fi, does not matter. So let's go ahead, we'll connect here to this network. I guess we'll agree to their terms. Okay, this is the important part. Right now it's doing a check, uh, and it's making sure, hey, do I belong to someone? And then it says, ah, I do. And so it directs us on a different out-of-box experience path. So here you'll see, welcome, Anna. And now it's prompting us to sign in with our company credentials. What's really cool is seeing the logo there. It's all branded. It really feels, yeah. it's a really exciting welcome for the employee to be able to get their device on their doorstep that morning, open it up, and have it already feel personalized. It's really exciting. Yeah, also. I mean, us as technical people in the IT world, if you received a device that did this and kind of knew who you were, it's like, wow, contoso has got their business together, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's go ahead and enter a password here. This will also support things like two-factor authentication, that sort of thing. And now it's going to set up that device. Now, these sequences are, of course, a little shortened. It does take a good moment, depending on how many things that you've set to be configured as a part of Windows Autopilot. Now we'll see it's installing certificates, Windows Defender, understanding our Wi-Fi networks at this company, uh, making sure that all of those are able to connect seamlessly, installing things like Office and any line of business applications. Here's a check for Windows Hello, which is very important. It's biometric authentication. Your Surface devices have that built in. It's quite secure. So in this example, they require it. So we'll do that two-factor, set up a local pin. And then after that is complete, we're all set. And lo and behold, we arrive 
at the Windows 10 desktop. And you'll notice a couple of things here. Now, this is, of course, uh, something we had prepared, but you'll notice there's some locked tile groupings up at the top. That's a policy that can be set by IT, things that users can't customize while they retain the ability to personalize everything else. Uh, you'll see some line of business apps like Contoso Paystub, as well as the entire Office suite. So it really is whatever you're going to need for your users can be pre-provisioned inside of Autopilot. We already mentioned why it's exciting for the users to get this device and have it already feel personalized. But from an IT perspective, what's really exciting is nowhere in this process that we've shown you does do these devices end up in your office at the end of the day. <laughs> and you just have this stack of boxes and device IDs you have to sort through and manually categorize. It's really set it and forget it with autopilot, which is really exciting. And it's going to save you a lot of time on your deployment. So Windows Autopilot is pretty new. Uh, so while it is ready to go, we encourage you to pilot it on your own. Try it out on a couple of devices. Add those into this uh, kind of group that checks for autopilot and see if you can get that configuration exactly as you need. We are listening very carefully to you and how autopilot works in your organization. If something is missing, let us know. The team building autopilot takes it very seriously because we see this as the future of deployment.